3.45 on this Monday morning. We're walking the dogs to get our day started. Now approximately 4 a.m. and I'm going to take you on a quick tour uh, through the city as we go the five miles from uh, my house in Crestline through Mountain Brook downtown to UAB. You can see there's not a lot of traffic on the streets at this hour. It usually takes me about 10 or so minutes to get there. We're coming up on downtown now and a few more streets will be reaching UAB. It's now 4.15 in the morning. We just made it to the hospital, starting our day with a nice cup of coffee. in one of the break rooms here at UAB. It's now about 5.45 in the morning and I just dropped off the OR list to the front desk. I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of one of the OR rooms. You can see pretty standard setup, OR table anesthesia setup. Got our case cart and the nurse's computer over here. All right, so we're gearing up for our Monday full of cases here. And this is just kind of a typical look at our schedule. I've uh, de-identified all the patient information, so you can kind of see we're starting out with two rooms today, one attending operating, uh, one room we're going to have a couple tibia nails, uh, humerus fracture, iliac wing, inner troke, uh, nailing a humerus, and finishing with a BKA. Next room you can see, starting out with a calc fracture, another tibial nail. This is a big acetabulum. We're going to go anterior approach today, uh, followed by posterior approach tomorrow on that one. Uh, fixing the femoral condyle from a ballistic injury, um, taking out some distal interlocks on a patient, and then doing a sacroiliac screw on the last patient. Uh, so this is how the day's going to start. It's always in flux as we get more rooms and move around, so we'll see how the day goes. All right, we're checking in midday. It's noon. I'm sitting here with Matt Hess, one of our PGY3 residents. So as you can see, our day has gotten a little bit more complicated. Uh, we've added two rooms, uh, one to bilateral knee spanning X fix, the other one distal raise, which we just knocked out. We're moving some things around, still got quite a few cases to go, um, so we'll see how the day ends up. It's now a little after 8 p.m. I've made it home from the hospital. Just to catch you up, we finished our day, uh, all the cases, ran the consults with the two interns on service, um, ran the list, looked over the images. I'm just kind of going back through um, on my home access, looking back through all of our images, making sure we didn't miss anything. Uh, I wish I could show you all the post ops. It turned out pretty well. We got through 13 cases. I uh, got about seven more on for tomorrow. So uh, it's a quick glimpse into the life of the chief resident on ortho trauma here at UAB. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Uh, I can provide you with my contact info. I look forward to meeting anybody watching.